Hello mga kamag-aral, welcome to tayo dito sa Teacher Enzyme TV. Kasama niyo po ako si Sir Noel. At ako ngayon ay may bagong lesson sa inyo. Ito naman ay patungkol sa proteins or amino acid. Ayan, sa mga hindi pa po nakakailala sa akin, ako po si Sir Noel Imos. Graduate po ng Doctor of Philosophy, Science, Education. At tayo na ay mag-uumpisa na. Ayun na nga, ang ating objectives ngayon. Uh, lesson na ito ay i-define natin kung ano ang protina na to. I-determine natin yung functions ng protein sa ating katawan. At syempre, titignan natin yung chemistry ng ating, um, ng ating amino acids. And also, familiarize with the amino acids needed in our, in our food diet. Ayan. Punta tayo dito. Pag sinabi natin proteins um, or amino acids, ganito yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa. When proteins are digested, they are broken down into amino acids. Tandaan nyo yan ha. So, this is the macro, this is the microform. Um, the humans uses amino acids to make uh, proteins uh, to help the body. Uh, ito yung mga functions niya. Ano ko? Uh, break down food in the form of enzymes, help us grow, help us repair body tissues, and perform many body functions. Yun talaga ang proteina eh. Um, kailangan na kailangan siya sa katawan. Makikita nyo mamaya yung composition niya. At nandito na nga tayo sa composition. Um... According to our science facts, our human body is composed of 60% water and 16% of this is protein. Um, there is a cumulative uh, percentage of fat and other elements in the body. Ganun katindi ang protein dito. Ayan. Um, proteins in the human body it is composed of many different functions. Uh, for example, uh, unahin natin yung bandang ulo papuntang baba. Ano? Dito sa ating ano, dito sa ating head part, okay? Ang nakalagay dito is yung antibodies. Ayun, antibodies, uh, proteins in immune system. Ayun, composed of the protein. Ayun. It also contains uh, the signaling protein na cytokines which uh, regulates the ano yun, growth of the cells. Ayun, it also communicates with other um, uh, blood cells para mag-perform ng immune response sa katawan. Okay, so another form ng protein ito ha. Uh, uh, dito naman, protein in the muscles. Yan, pag protein di ba? Uh, para sa ating uh, mga muscles. Itong actin and myosin, myoglobin, and ferritin, these are all examples of proteins. Yan. Ang pinaka uh, may explain ko dyan, yung actin and myosin, na kapag nag-contract yung muscle, kanya, kapag ganito, yung ganyan, so biceps, yan. Actin and myosin, yung ano doon, yung nagpapagalaw doon. Dito naman sa ating ano, proteins in the blood, we have the protein called hemoglobin. Yan, this transport the oxygen. Oxygen rich ang hemoglobin. Fib fibrinogen, it, which is the clotting um, protein of the blood. And the albumin, which maintains the proper amount of liquid in the blood. Yan, mga proteins lahat yan. So, diba, ang daming kailangan ng uh, protein sa ating katawan. We also have what we call enzyme. Yan, enzymes, these are digestive enzymes that help break down food. Yan, sa tiyan natin. Um, dito sa tuhod, bandang tuhod, pero um, it is par, uh, particularly talking about cell membrane. Cell membrane, alam na natin yan. These are the channels for the substances to move into the uh, cell and outside the cell. They also act as enzymes. They also act as receptors. Yeah. At, um, there are also three types of proteins inside the cell membrane. These are the peripheral, integral, and the lipid-bound protein. Yan. And also, we have the structural structural protein. Um, makikita natin sa mga example. For example, <laughs> itong uh, cytoskeleton, uh, the network of protein filaments and tubules that maintain the cell shape. Yan, yung, yung, yung katawan daw ng cell. Okay, the cytoskeleton, from the word cyto, cell, and the skeleton, meaning yung, ano, yung framework niya. Okay, it maintains the shape of the cell. At protein ang gumagawa nun. Okay? At, we also have the keratin, yan, collagen, elastin, yan yung mga madalas marinig natin sa skin, hair, and nails. Yan. Um, elastin provides el uh, flexibility, yung stretching ability ng skin. Uh, and collagen is for strength. Yan ang gamit ng protein sa ating katawan. Okay, hindi na natin masyadong didetalya. And we all know, protein is coming from the food that we eat. Yan, mag-uumpisa yan sa bibig. And we also have the dietary, dietary proteins. Yan, yung kinakain nating meat, fish, eggs. Yan, mga protein na yung mga yan. Paano natin makukuha yung amino acid dyan? Pupunta muna siyang mouth, then the stomach. With the, with the use of the hydrochloric acid, 
and the pepsin inside the stomach they are um the the food that we eat in chicken na kinain ninyo okay na uh, masarap is being denatured and partially hydrolyzed yan yung protein na nandoon yan pagdating naman sa uh, small intestine we have the um the uh, enzyme called protease yan ang gagawin na naman niya yung protein na uh, na hindi pa masyadong na uh, na digest okay na Uh, na ma, in, na ma, ma, maliit uh, na gawing mas maliit na na absorbable uh, amino acid ng katawan uh, protein ang gagawa niya so kapag ka na digest na siya into smaller bits magkakaroon na siya ng um, form into another form at yun yung amino acid yung amino acid yan na yung form ng protein na pwede nating maabsorb ng katawan Yan. Alam ka naman yung chicken, yung buong chicken na yun yung, yung uh, absorbin ng katawan. Hindi. It needs to go into digestion process. Ganyan kahalaga ang ating digestive system. At pagdating sa intestinal lining, yung intestinal lining, yung walls ng small intestine natin, doon nadadaan sa ating bloodstream. Ngayon, sobrang liit na ng amino acid. Pwede na siyang pumasok doon sa ating bloodstream. At yun yung gagamitin ng ating... Uh, ng ating katawan, papadala sa pamamagitan ng dugo, dadalhin na yan sa iba't ibang parte ng katawan para magamit sa iba't ibang proseso na nabanggit ko kanina. Okay? And it is via active transport. Yan. Yung active transport, yung pagpasok nung, ano, nung mga amino acid sa ating uh, intestinal lining. Yan. Ang amino acid, ganito yung itsura niya. Um, in Chemis- chemistry form, ganyan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Okay? When we say amino acid, these are the building blocks of protein. Okay? Building blocks of protein yan, ha? So, pag nagsama-samang mga amino acid, magiging protein. Okay? That forms polypeptide bond. Ganitong ganito. Ang kaibahan lang, as you can see, sa carbohydrates, we have the element called carbohydrates. So, ibig sabihin, CHO. Um, ang tawag dito? Um, uh, We have the carbohydrate, uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, uh, dito naman sa ating composition ng ating amino acids or the proteins, merong isang kakaiba, okay? Meron siyang meron siyang C, meron siyang H, at meron siyang letter N. Ayan, letter N. So C, H, O, at saka N. Yan, yan ang composition ng ating element composition ng ating amino acid. Yan. Ano yung R dyan? Yung R na yan, ang tinatawag na side chain. Tandaan na, pakitake note, side chain ang tawag dyan. Pag sinabing nating side chain, yan yung magdedetermine ng iba't ibang klasing shape ng amino acid. Yan, yung pagkaka-identity niya o pagkakaiba-iba niya. Okay? To be more specific, yan, we, uh, dito sa ating ano, uh, nitrogen group, yan, ang tawag dyan, amino group. May dalawang hydrogen atoms dyan, nagsama siya sa nitrogen. This one is the side chain na yung tinuro ko kanina. And this is the carboxyl group. Carboxyl ang tawag dyan. Yan. Merong double bond ng oxygen at carbon. Tapos meron ditong single bond ng oxygen at carbon. And we also have the hydrogen. Yan. Okay. When amino acids are chained together with polypeptide bonds, they uh, form protein. Yan. This is the amino acid. Okay. Ito yung kanina. Yung, ano, it is only represented by the box. Uh, this is the polypeptide chain. Ayan, polypeptide chain. Tapos another amino acid. Ayan, amino acid. Ayan, protein na. Okay, ang tawag dyan. Chain together. Now, we also have the two types of amino acid. Ayan. Ang two types na ang ating amino acid ay we have the essential amino acids which we are uh, gonna be focusing kasi nasa food chemistry tayo. Ayan, essential amino acids that cannot be made by the body at ka, uh, makukuha lang siya sa pagkain. Pero pag non-essential, naproproduce ito ng ating katawan. Kaya kahit hindi ka kumain ng food, makukuha natin ito. Kaya nga tinawag na essential, kailangan mong kumain para makuha itong protein na ito. Tandaan nyo yan ha. Okay, our body needs 20 different amino acids. 20 sila lahat, okay, to grow and function properly. Though all of these are important, only 9 are essential. Essential amino acids are can be produced by the body and can be only obtained only from the food. Ayan. These are the as essential amino acids na kailangan ninyong tandaan. Isoleucine, uh, isoleucine, ayan, for muscle metabolism. Leucine, okay, nitrogen equilibrium from adults and produce 
growth hormones. Yan. Lysine helps to form and absorb calcium, okay, forming hormones and collagen. Let's go with number four, methionine, absorption of zinc and selenium. Phenylalanin, ayan, pwede nyo ipangalan sa mga anak ninyo. <laughs> Produce neurotransmitters such as dopamine, ayan, or epinephrine. Pag sinabing epinephrine, ayan yung, ano, yung emergency hormone yan. Yung kapag kahinabol ka ng aso or perong sunog sa bahay mo, biglang tataas ang epinephrine levels. Ayan, emergency yan yan, biglang ang bilis ng takbo mo, nabibigyan ka ng uh, kakaibang uh, energy boost. Ayan, epinephrine ang tawag doon. Ayan, pro-produce yan sa adrenal glands. Ang dopamine naman ay uh, sinasabi nilang happy hormone. Ayan, happy hormone. Ayan ang dopamine. We have number 6, threonine. Okay? Component of tooth enamel, collagen, and elastin for skin and tissues. Tryptophan. 7, tryptophan. Helps form serotonin, which is the hormone for appetite, Hormone for mood, stabilization, yan. Hor and then hormone for sleep, yan ang serotonin. And niacin, which is part of the vitamin B complex. Yan. Maraming gamit ang niacin. Yan. Kasama yan sa vitamin ano, B na ano, group. Valin, preserve glycogen in our muscles. And we also have the hist histidine. Maintains protection for the nerve cells. Produces histamine. That is vital for immune response. So, mas, mas may kinalaman siya sa um, yung kunyari, uh, allergies, ganun. Kasi kunyari, may allergy ka sa seafood or may allergy ka sa pollen, okay? Or sa hayop, yung hair, fur ng, ng hayop or pusa, ganun. Um, the body, unfortunately, uh, treats that um, allergen na, anong tawag daw, yung, yung kapag naharamdaman niya na may ganun, it will treat as a foreign body, kalaban. Kaya, <laughs> nagkakaroon ka ng allergy, yan, nag, nagkakaroon ka ng negative effect sa katawan. Yan, iba-iba ang, uh, pagka, ang, ano, ang allergies ng ibang tao. At histamine ang may kasalanan. <laughs> Alright, that is our nine essential um, amino acids. Yan. And lastly, for our, ano, to complete, <laughs> to complete our protein lesson for today, we all, uh, in our diet, we have the complete and incomplete protein. Yan. Of the 20 amino acids, the human body is capable of producing 11. Pero, um, the other 9 is for the food sources. Yan. Look at this one. The protein, okay, the complete proteins contains, tandaan nyo ha, kaya nga complete, contains all the 9 essential amino acids. Okay? Pero pag incomplete, uh, one or more, ganun lang, kulang talaga siya incomplete. At merong mga pagkain ganun. Lahat ng pagkain na animal source, complete ang protein. Mahahanap mo yung essential amino acids doon. Such as meat, poultry, fish, uh, eggs, and dairy products. Tandaan nyo yan ha? Animal sources, complete ang protein. Ano naman yung incomplete ang protein? Yung kulang, yung amino acid na makukuha mo doon. Essential amino acid. These are found in plant sources. Yan. Tulad ng beans, nuts, grains. Yan. Legumes or yung... Uh, Munggo, yan. <laughs> May great example yun. Yan. Lahat ng plant sources, incomplete ang kanilang proteins. Yan. Look at this one. The best way to give the body complete proteins is to eat wide variety of foods throughout the day. So, dapat, uh, 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 yung mga pinakain natin, uh, hindi lang incomplete, incomplete proteins, uh, para makuha natin yung uh, protein na kailangan natin, maku uh, kumain din tayo ng iba't ibang types of sources. Yan. Kasi nga, ganun kahalaga yung protein sa ating katawan. Diba? Na-discuss natin yan. So, these are the examples of complete and incomplete proteins. Ayan. Mayroon tayong fish dito. Uh, meat. The chicken. Uh, tuna yan. Ayan. Eggs. And also, we have the supplements. Dito naman sa incomplete protein, meron tayong mga beans. Ayan. Yung mga ibang um, types of food ay merong mga uh, uh, plant sources na incomplete ang protein. Ayan. So, ayun. Ito nagtatapos ang ating simpleng lesson sa proteins. Kung meron kayong questions, okay, ay pwede natin i-comment sa comment box at interact lang kayo. Okay? Maraming maraming salamat sa pakikinig. This is Teacher Enzyme TV.